First create the HTML file. We're gonna add a HTML body and head tags and also add the doc type on the top so it knows it's HTML5. Next, we're gonna save the file onto the desktop. We'll call it keyboard.html. Search for tone.js CDN on Google and just copy the link and just paste it onto the script source tag so that now we're loading tone.js. Go ahead and double click the file that we saved. Now I'm going to create a container for our synthesizer. I'm just going to style it in the head. I'm going to use a, the number sign because it's an ID. I'm going to give it a width of 100, a height of 200, and a border. And for now, actually, I'm just going to put position absolute so that the content it fits the content within it. Now let's create the white notes. I'm going to open up a script tag so I can write some JavaScript. I'll put an array of notes starting from C because this is a piano. Next, I'm going to iterate on these notes. And I'm going to create a HTML string that I'm going to append the string div. That's basically a white note. And notice that I'm using uh, HTML template strings. Now I'm going to get the container by ID and put that HTML inside of it so that you'll see it. Before we can see it, we have to style it. So I'm going to give it a height of 100 percent, which is going to be the container's height of 200 pixels, a border, and if you notice it goes down, so we're going to have to float it left so that it's all in the same line. Okay, now I'm just going to create a mouse down event so we can see the note that we press. Um, I'm going to take the, the variable from the note array from our current index and I'm going to pass it into a data attribute. Now the way we access this data attribute is we take the DOM element and we access its data set and the note is the name that, that we put it in. Now I'm just going to alert this note and we'll see what we pressed. And it looks like it looks like it's pressing good. Now I'm just going to add a synth. This is tone.js syntax. I'm just going to create a polysynth so we can potentially have multiple notes at the same time. And inside the note down, I'm just going to get rid of the alert and instead I'm just going to trigger an attack on that synth with the note name. Uh, keep in mind that the note name should have an octave number next to it. So C4 for example. Now let's add the black notes. I'm just going to put the div on, on a second line so I can put something in, inside of it. And I'm just going to add the black note class. And let's just style this. I'm going to give it a position of absolute. And we got to put a position relative so that it knows relative to what. So the black note is relative to the white note. So everything that I uh, type in is, is all relative to what the nut white note is. So left 68% is from where the white note starts. Now let's just make it so that uh, by default we'll say that it has the sharp, but if it's the notes E or B, then I basically don't display that sharp. Notice the bug that I have, it's because the black notes are basically the event is going, is bubbling up. So we're gonna have to stop the propagation on the black note so it doesn't go to the white note. And now it's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna add an octave, another octave. So let's just create an outside for a loop that goes from zero to one on an octave variable. And, uh, you know, as we passed in the number four before, now the second octave is gonna to have to have a number five. So whatever the octave is gonna be, zero or one, we're just gonna add a four to it. So the first set is gonna be fours and the second set's gonna be fives. Okay, now let's make it so that when I press a note, it's gonna change the color. For that, I need to know if it's sharp or not. I'll just add that parameter for the note down. Now, if it is sharp, I'm just gonna make it black. If it's not, I'm gonna make it slightly darker than white. Now see the bug, it's because I never created a mouse up event that puts it back to its original color. So let's do that. I'm just gonna create on mouse up, give it a note up function. Same with on mouse leave, give it a note up function. Do the same thing for the black notes, except remember the second parameter is true for them. In a note up function, I'm just gonna set its background. If it's a sharp, go back to its original color. If it's a white note, just go back to white. Okay, that's working pretty good. 
Now I'm just going to add some uh, final touches. I'm going to slightly change the position of the black note and I'm going to make the containers that's in the middle of the screen. For that I calculate 50% minus half of the height and 50% minus half of the width. And I'm going to get rid of the overflow so that it doesn't make the notes on the next line if, there, if it doesn't fit. And that's it. We're done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll have a link to the code in the description.